More on tables. Another problem that comes up is sometimes people get these background images in here and they say, gee, now nobody can read what I have to say. It's all caught up in the image. So the image starts to overpower what you're trying to do. Here's a simple answer to that is you just insert another table. And that's what we're going to do. I've got my cursor here at the top. I'm going to use my insert table tool and I remember my ratios, it's going to be 60%. Now again, I only want one row, I want one column, and I want this to be 60%. Whoops. Okay, so I've got that in place, and then I'm just going to click Insert. And there, you see it's right here at the top. Now the second thing I'm going to do is right-click, Table Properties, and I want to change the color of that so that it shows up. I want to highlight that table, which I've done by clicking Cell, and then I click on my options. I change the background color. I'll choose a little teal thing here. So I'll choose that for my color, and then I hit Apply, and then I hit Close. And now you see I've got a table here that I can put text in. I'm also going to want to change the font color too, so I'll go in and I'll quickly change this font color to this darker teal and see if that works. Okay, so it didn't grab it. Sometimes you'll have to go back. I've noticed in RV Site Builder it sometimes won't grab um, the color that I choose, so sometimes I have to do it more then once. Okay, so now I've got it. The only thing I don't like is that it's skewed to the left. Well, that's easy to fix. Just use your alignment tools and click the center alignment tool and then, okay, <laughs> then I can just start typing. But again, I've got to check my color of my font and make sure that it goes the way I want it to. And again, you know, I can just start typing as much as I want. If I want to add a photograph, I can certainly do that. Um, if I want to add a video, let's add a video here. Hang on. If I wanted to add my clip, I could certainly do that. Um, it would give it a little bit of texture and give it something that, um, you know, that I could use. So I would just upload um, one of my videos. I could have sworn I already had this uploaded. <laughs> But, you know, the routine. You go out, you find your video, um, you upload it, and plop it right into that table. Simple as that. So if I want to put in a video clip here, I just click on my media tool on the toolbar, and I look through my files. I've already uploaded this video just to save us some time, and I just click on it. Again, go into options. That's really important because otherwise you're going to spend a lot of time just resizing this. Um, I'm just going to do 300 by 200. Again, I can choose whether it auto plays or loops or has a controller. I'm just going to keep it as a controller for now. And I'm going to click on this image here and I want to center that within my column. So again, I highlight it, I center it, and then I'm ready to go. If I want to, I can also center this text here too. So I just click on it, center it, and then I've got my video and it's ready to go. If I want to bold it, I can just highlight the text and click bold and there I'm ready to go. So basically that's how you can just start playing around in here and figuring out how you want things to show. In a minute I'm going to show you the finalized um, version of this page. Then we're going to go into putting meta descriptions, meta tags on it, little tools that you can use so that search engines find you. So now that I have all of my stuff put in place, um, I've got my video here and I also have my uh, picture. I, I kind of swap things around a little bit. I'm just going to see if I can make this video screen a little bit smaller. Um, so you can see that I've got the place where I can start the video and customers can play it. So you can see that's available and ready to go. 
um, I've got my picture here this is what we we did that table and the layers so I'm all set here and I'm ready to publish and next what I'm going to show you is how to put on those descriptions in there so that the search engines can find you